In this video, we're going to convert raw scores to z-scores and z-scores to raw scores. Raw scores are the actual values in the data that you're using. Z-scores are a standardized score that allow you to compare across data sets and allow you to do use the standard normal table and other things. Z-scores are measured in standard deviations. They tell you how many standard deviations a given raw score is from the mean. So here, we're gonna be working with IQ data. So IQ has a mean, which is represented as Y bar of 100, and a standard deviation, which is S sub Y of 15. So that's a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. Here we have our formula for converting raw scores to z-scores. So a z-score is the raw score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. And written out in words, here you have raw minus mean over standard deviation. So we're gonna convert three raw scores, 120, 70, and 107, to z-scores, okay? We're going to use the formula to do so. And remember, the data that we're using for raw scores is IQ data. So here, we're going to have the first z-score is 120, which is the raw score, minus the mean of 100, divided by the standard deviation, which is 15. Okay. So that's gonna give us 20 over 15, okay? So 20 divided by 15 is 1.33. So our first z-score is 1.33. That means that a person who has an IQ of 120 is one and a third standard deviations above the mean, okay? They are one and a third standard deviations above the mean. The second z-score is gonna be 70 minus 100, right? Because our raw score is 70 and our mean is 100, divided by 15, which is our standard deviation. So that's gonna give us negative 30 over 15 to give us a z-score of negative two. So our second z-score is negative two. A person with a raw score of 70, so with an IQ of 70, is two standard deviations below the mean. And finally, our person with a raw score of 107 is gonna have a z-score of 107 minus 100 over 15. That gives us seven over 15 which is 0.47, okay? So there you have our three z-scores. The person with a raw score of 120 has a z-score of 1.33, meaning that they are 1.33 standard deviations above the mean. The person with a z-score of negative two has, or the person with a Raw score of 70 has a z-score of negative two, meaning there are two standard deviations below the mean. And the last person has a z-score of 0.47, meaning that they are about half a standard deviation above the mean. All right, so let's go over here and do z-scores to raw scores. So now we're gonna try and convert z-scores back to raw scores. Sometimes you have a z-score and you wanna know what is the corresponding raw score that goes with it. So here we have our formula. To find the raw score, you do your z-score times the standard deviation plus the mean, okay? So written out, that's z-score plus standard deviation, or times standard deviation plus the mean. So here we have our three z-scores. To find the raw score, we're gonna do negative 1.5, which is our z-score, times 
the standard deviation of 15. plus 100, which is our mean, okay? So that's gonna be negative 1.5 times 15, which is negative 22.5 plus 100. That gives us a raw score of 77.5. So somebody that has a Z score of negative 1.5 in this data set of IQ would have a raw IQ score of 77.5. Okay, let's do two more. Raw score would be 2.7 times 15, which gives us 40.5. And we add 100 to get 100 40.5. So somebody whose z-score for IQ is 2.7 would have a raw IQ of 140.5. All right, one last example. Raw score of negative 0.3 times 15. So we have 0.3 negative times 15. That gives us negative 4.5. Now we add 100 to get 95.5. And there you have it. Those are our three raw scores that we converted to from z-scores. So that's converting between z-scores and raw scores. All you need to know is the mean and the standard deviation of a data set, and you can convert from any raw score to any z-score and from any z-score to any raw score. So that's all there is to converting raw and z-scores. Hope this helps.